guys, Stefan Fischer here from Moral Fraud. Thank you very much for tuning in today. In today's video, I will have a look at the Helinox Savannah chair. I will tell you the pros and cons. I will tell you some modification I made to the chair. And I will also compare it against the Helinox Sunset chair, which I also have. Make sure you keep watching to the end because I will reveal a little trick which may transform your winter camping with a Helinox chair or as a matter of fact with any chair. Without further ado, let's get into it. I'm here at the beautiful Elroy station, um, a working sheep and cattle station, not too far from Yulo in Queensland. I just wanted to give you a quick review of the Helinox Savannah chair. I have this Helinox Sunset chair, which is next to me, um, which is an ultralight camping chair, weighs just a little bit over one kilogram, I think in the third or fourth year. And that here is pretty much my main travel chair, is always in the car and I use it on any of my solo trips. Now for our Simpson Desert trip with another two kids. I contacted Helinox and they were kind enough to send me two Savannah chairs for review and testing purposes. This is now three weeks in. However, I have a pretty good idea about the quality uh, and working of the chair because of my Sunset chair. The Savannah chair is a little bit bigger and I reckon more comfortable version of uh, the Sunset chair. It um, has a bit higher cover, kind of like an armrest here, which folds out. So that makes it more comfortable. And it also has two stubby holders, can holders or bottle holders. And that certainly is a bonus. Also, the back of the chair is a bit higher and uh, you have a complete headrest here. You can lean back. You can also put a pillow in here or a towel and that gives you really a proper headrest. Quality wise, it is exactly the same as a sunset chair. So you really get what you paid for. The Helinox chairs are the most expensive uh, ultralight chairs but from what I found, also the best quality ultralight chairs. So again, third year this one, it would have done, poof, I don't know, I would say over 100, 150 nights unpacking, repacking, or not to mention the mornings and sometimes lunch. So it had a fair bit of use and yeah, no issue whatsoever. It's pretty much uh, still like new. I mean, you see obviously that it is used. I reviewed this chair in detail, so check out the review of uh, the Sunset chair. Um, yeah, the Savannah chair, to be honest, I think for me will replace the Sunset chair just because of that armrest here, because that is very comfortable and the stubby holders and the higher backrest. It is a little bit bigger packed in, but not much. It is also a little heavier. But again, no big issue. One thing to take into account if you want to decide whether you go for the Savannah or the Sunset chair, I reckon is seat height. The Savannah chair, I reckon, is better if you also intend to work on the chair. For example, sit on a table, do some laptop work, which I do, um, simply because the seat base is a little bit higher. So the seat base here is around 42 centimeters on the savannah chair and 37 centimeters on uh, the sunset chair one other thing you may want to consider and that's the width of the seat so from seam to seam here is 490 millimeters 49 centimeters and here is 540 so 54 centimeters so this is definitely much wider in the Savannah chair than in the Sunset chair. Also, the Savannah chair has a much higher back in comparison to the Sunset chair. One thing you have to be aware of that one of the great benefits, which is the lightweight, can also be the downfall. Disaster has struck, something which I managed to avoid for several years having the Helinox chairs. It happened today. It is super windy. I don't know how often I stood up today. I took the chair, put it behind the car. Um, even if I just got a drink of water, I must have done that 20, 30 times today. Then I jump up just to grab a drink. 
the only time I did not do it, the chair lands in the fire and that's the end of it. I'm devastated because I really love that Savannah chair. That is really the only downside of these lightweight chairs. Helinox also does have a ground anchor for the chairs and that is a suggestion to Helinox. I think that should not be an optional uh, extra which you have to pay for. I think every one of these chairs really should come with one of their ground anchors. On any windy day really you have to pack the chair down or what you alternatively can do is just turn it around like this. That also will do the job. As a low cost alternative I also drilled two holes in one of the feet of the chairs and put a piece of guy rope through it. Together with the tent pack it works very well and cost me nothing. That is a modification I plan to make to all of my chairs. My 12 year old daughter Summer will quickly show you how easy it is to set up the chair and pack back down. To be honest initially I thought it would be too much effort and it would annoy me but that turned out to be not true. It's no issue setting up that chair. I do it super quick. Pack down is super fast. It does not take more time than unfolding and folding back in a regular camp chair. Yeah, let me quickly go into the quality of the bags uh, the Helinox chairs come in. Um, yeah, a little bit different design here, but this may have changed because that's an older bag here. Yeah, the quality of both bags is very good. Again, this here is over three years old. I think the design of the Savannah chair bag is a little bit better. It's quicker to pack in because um, you have this area in the back. You tuck it in, close it up. The Sunset chair opens completely. Um, to be honest, I think I prefer this because it's easy to slide in uh, over the Sunset uh, chair bag. So guys, I hope uh, the video helped you in your decision making process. For me, the Savannah chair is probably my most preferred Helinox chair, simply because of all the things I mentioned previously. If size and weight is your absolute priority, the Sunset chair is a great chair. It has served me well for over three years and it will continue serving me and my family going forward. Is there anything I would improve on the chairs? Um, yes, there are two things. First of all, for me, I'm a tall fella, long legs. I would love to see a chair, say, with another five centimeter or so actually seating area. While sitting around the campfire for an hour or so, it is absolutely no issue. But if I would sit around the campfire a lot, say, in the camper trailer and we have camping trips where we are stationary, um, I usually take a different chair just because they have a wider seating area. So I would love to see one of the Helinox with a wider seating area. The only other thing, one of the cheap copies I have, which quality wise you can't really compare, but what it does have is it has a double sided Velcro strap here around. And that means when you fold them together, you can hold the legs together with Velcro. No big deal because uh, I just lay it out on the floor or actually on the tailgate of the cruiser and then put them in there, roll it in. But still, it would be nice to have that Velcro around so that the um, poles don't flip flop everywhere. But yeah, otherwise, I really like that Helinox gear. I like that Helinox chair. And if you want a super quality chair which lasts you a long, long time, I reckon the Helinox is the best buy in that regards. So before we finish, I promised you a little tip which may um, transform your winter camping in any chair because you probably also have noticed they can become quite cold from underneath and I have a little recipe against that. So let me quickly show you. The secret is a sheepskin, which is really multi-purpose because you can also use it as a sleeping pad or as a sitting pad and is something I always carry with me, especially in winter. As always, guys, if you enjoy my videos, if you get value out of it, please like, subscribe and share and maybe even consider becoming one of my Patreon supporters. And with the equivalent of a cup of coffee or two per month, you can really help me creating these videos. 
You also have a few perks. You get early access to my videos. Um, you can get direct access to ask me questions via the Patreon platform. And from time to time, I give away some of the stuff I review to my Patreon supporters. Thanks a lot, so long, and I hope to see you along the tracks.